Hello and welcome everyone to another Mind Colonies Colonial Age episode. This episode we're going to check into the things which have been happening in here and we got quite some progress. Now these two cities that are in build and we got at the moment no free citizens to assign to our delivery man hat. Delivery man hat and warehouse are placed and built down here already. Already got some nice stairs down here as well. So we got the warehouse here, which is at the moment sadly empty. Let me push off some stuff I barely need in the warehouse here then. And here on the spot right next to the fair warehouse, we got the delivery mean hut, which has at the moment no one assigned. Because the free workers got assigned to once, our new guard tower here at the corner, oh, which is basically the farthest out corner of our colony in this direction. I think it's a very perfect position. So we got one guard tower in this position, one here, probably going to have one there as well, around this position there. And I think this allows us quite nicely to have a, like a perimeter around our colony with guard towers. We should probably put one here next to the bridge as well. Our fisherman down here seems ready as well, and seems to be something went uh, wrong with the water placement here. So placed it basically one block higher than I actually thought. I put it up here. Let's check. Our fisherman is probably complaining, but I got the right thing. He wants a fishing rod. Give you even. Two fishing rods. Done. Oh, and she already got a bunch of fish. I'm going to steal some of this. And the rest is going to be for the delivery man to get. Now, in this outer part here, as you already saw earlier, we got one citizen hut for the farmer here. So it's probably a good idea to upgrade this as well for our citizen and the fisherman. Now. Let me go up here. We got a bunch of things going on at the moment in code. Again, we got Orion currently working on the new GUI framework. And the new GUI framework is going to be very interesting because it's going to allow us a lot more things. We got a few restrictions at the moment because of the GUI framework, which doesn't allow us to build things like scrolling inventories and um, slots and in inventories in general and does, it doesn't handle so it makes it a lot of work to build an inventory with these features that's why we avoided it besides the crafting grid which has these slots to do this until now but with the help of this new GUI framework, it will allow us to do this. So in the block of the warehouse, for example, we will be able to make a G scrolling GUI interface which shows you all blocks of all chests in the warehouse. Which is going to be quite interesting, I bet everyone has been waiting for this for quite some time as well. Um, besides that, we got a developer from other mod, which is Dark Roleplay. JTK, I think is his name, working on a way to decrease the schematic size. And I've seen that his mod basically reduces the size of schematics of to over 90%. It's going to be not any more .nbt files, it's going to be .blueprint files. But we're going to make it in a way that that will be fully compa compatible and He's also writing a tool which is doing the conversion from one to another. And this is basically going to allow us to put way more styles in the char. And is going to make the char at the same time smaller. As you've probably seen, our char size has increased to over 30 megabytes. And a big part of this is sound. And a huge part of that is schematics until now. So this is going to help us quite a lot with uh, schematic size. Eat here really quick. So it's very funny. These dogs, they always climb on your bed, right? Let's check the builder. It's almost ready. 
We got a bunch of here and sour cook on level two as well already. And Elisa is level five cook already. Like I said in the last episode, she has very high stats, so she's leveling quite quickly as well in her profession. Let's see some things here. I'm going here to give her the fish. She's probably yeah, happily going to cook it. There she goes. Um, we solved also some weird type of bugs in the last days. We had users which had issues with uh, recipes saving, which was kind of fixed by removing the colonies that and creating a new backup with MC backup, which basically backups all the colonies in a new dead. So if something happens, you can just MC colony load backup the colony, the ID, the dimension, and it loads your colony from the backup. So, for example, you could do MC load backup, kill one of your citizens, and then do load backup and recall the citizen at the town hall, and he's going to be back. Which is quite useful if, for example, the wither enters in your colony. You know, oh, I'm going to back up this colony quickly and then I'm going to try to kill the wither and I'm going to restore what has been messed up in terms of citizen deaths afterwards. Or as if things get deleted by bugs or your colony is destroyed after you're loading the world, it's going to be quite easy just to load the colony. Um, oh, we got a bunch of dirt meanwhile here. Yeah. Got some issues with those holes in the middle. This doesn't look nice. Um, um, here. Let's check out our miner. I've completely forgot about our miner around here. Since it's kind of hidden besides those trees around here. We make some space here. Kill this tree and make an, uh, a small path here to the miner. Here. I think that's much better. Yeah. And he just came up. Is there anything useful? Diamond sand. Interesting. Nickel or silver or checking here, nothing too useful. That has to be. Oh, he's quite deep already. He's on Y24. He's probably soon going to hit bedrock and start tunneling to the sides. And I hope he's going to find some good resources for us while doing that as well. Um, stone stairs. Um. I hope my builder is going to finish the citizen hut soon because I need this delivery man. Mm, he's building the car tower, so he's going to need ladders and more spruce. Let me get spruce. Oops. Spruce, spruce. After this he should then start the citizen hunt it's going to help us a lot and yeah besides that behind the scenes as you probably saw these days in Orion's live stream we're also preparing for 1.13 and if anyone is concerned we're going to support 1.12 for quite a while yet since it's the main mod version we're going to support it until it's basically no one plays it anymore. We also only stopped supporting 112 and uh, 110 and 111 when basically no one was playing it anymore and was getting too big of a hassle to port things over. Here, this as well. Mm. He got everything now. Um, got an egg farm here. Let's check out our things. We got also at the moment almost forgot Tarina working at Kids. So one of the updates we're going to have 
is having kid citizens. The rules initially are going to be probably quite simple as if you have space in a house and there is a woman living in it and the happiness is high, reasonably high, you're going to have a new child which is eventually becoming a full crown citizen and you can employ him. So you're going, still going to get your initial for citizens and there's going to be some way to get citizens without childs as well, although it's going to cost something probably, like you have to pay some paper or something like that in the ha town hall block and else you're going to get the citizens only through babies, which is I think a bit more realistic. Um, what do you want to check? Yep, the citizen, three citizen had upgrades afterwards. We don't have enough guards and don't have enough houses in our colony for our citizens to be happy. We got those here. And we got another 111. We got Anastasia 111 and Camellia, that's just a pain. We got Gwewen is our new guard. Um, Nayam is our fisherman. Melanie is our knight. The other ones I actually know him. It's Amelia, which is our cook. Harrison, our builder. Benjamin is our lumberjack. That's our miner. And that's our shepherd. I'm starting to learn these names. It's going to be get complicated when we're at level 50 with 50 colonists, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm going to put here. Uh, she might not like to be bothered with the messages. Our overall happiness is 9.8, and we got two archers, nine citizens. This should be fine. Mm. Closing the doors again. Let's check how our builder is doing right now. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any of the Patreons today to come online to chime in the video. Really enjoy having additional people in our videos because things get much more interactive and I have to spend less time thinking of what I'm going to talk about. This builder finally is ready and we're going to be happy about it. Builder man, builder man. Where is our builder man? One of the problems he might be having is the way to walk over here, which is quite long. Arches here. Uh, don't tell me I messed up the. Oh yeah, I messed up the rotation again. Both in both of the towers, the door is facing in this direction. I actually have to rot and rotate them later because that's a bit of a pain. Doesn't make a lot of sense either. Mm. I think we're going to leave it with that in this episode. There's not much to talk about anymore at this moment. A lot of the things were ready already in the last episode. I'm going back to coding now and I hope I'm going to have something nice to talk about in the next episode as well. <laughs> See you.